doesn't you know it doesn't go away on its own i don't know but uh look i've been i've, I've lost uh 66 pounds so far or 69 i, I don't i don't know but it's in the between like 66 69 uh i don't have any loose skin i've still got some fat here but it's going away uh, until I get my six pack, my eight pack. Uh, but I don't have any loose skin anywhere on my body uh, because of autophagy. Uh, so uh, you might want to think about water fasting instead of uh, exercise. And I'm I'm not saying exercise is bad, but uh, if you want to lose, if you want to lose all that excess weight. Especially if you're overweight, if you're like 340, 400 pounds, you might want to uh, give water fasting a try uh, before you go into exercise. And you can go into exercise and build muscle after you have lost your, your fat. Um, you know, uh, so that, that's just an idea. So uh, so I'm go so I'm doing well. I'm going on the last leg of my fast. Uh, again, I'm at like it's my 86th uh, day right now. Um, actually, it's my 87th day. Uh, probably gonna go well into uh, 100 days. Uh, I'm going to 160 pounds. Uh, and then I'm going to transition back uh, to healthy eating. Um, my plans uh, this year, I want to, you know, I want to go. I promised my son this summer that we would go to Eastern Europe. Uh, we, sh we want to go to uh, Ukraine, Moldova and Romania. Uh, Gonna be looking for a plane ticket uh, a couple of months before uh, July. Uh, I don't know. We might uh, take a plane ticket to Ukraine or to Romania, depending on what the prices are. Uh, I really hope these governments are gonna stop with their stupid restrictions and all this this COVID nineteen bullshit. Uh, I mean, uh, I think at this point some countries are gonna have to. They're gonna have to stop with the bullshit because because of economic reasons. Uh, some countries that were relying on uh, tourism, they they have lost everything. You know, one example is Thai Thailand. In Pattaya, from what I've been told, ninety percent of all businesses have been bankrupt because there's no way they're gonna live with uh, Thai money. They need tourists, uh, and. They've gone on another round of stupid restrictions with their bullshit second wave that does not exist. So uh, I hope like uh, Ukraine, Moldova, Romania stay strong and um, just stop the bullshit. Just let the tourists come in. Uh, if we have to do a test, we're going to do the test. Uh, uh, but just let us in. Uh, we're planning. I promised my son we were going to do something. And if these countries, they want to remain stupid, well, just remain stupid. We're going to go to Mexico again. Because Mexico, they've, they've realized that uh, they need the tourists, they need the money, and they're doing just great right now. Everybody's going to Mexico. Mexico is becoming a first world country with, with the money of tourism, while countries like us and Canada were falling into the third world with their stupid rules, the stupid leaders. Uh, it's incredible. And when you look at the, the restrictions of some some of the, these countries, they're restricti restricting us, Canadians, because of the so-called second wave that does not exist. And they're letting, they're restricting us, treating us like lepers right now. And they're letting Chinese people go into their country, the ones that have created the virus. The ones that have fooled the, the entire world with the fucking virus, stupid virus that does not kill anybody. It doesn't make sense at all. So, all of you countries out there have just stopped being stupid, you know. 
take our money, take us as tourists, and stop all this bullshit, you know? Because your uh, your people are suffering because they don't have any income, right? Uh, so many people have businesses uh, and employ people, and they need tourists, you know, the restaurants, the hotels, uh, they need tourists. So just stop being fucking stupid. Let people come into your country, you know. Uh, we all need to work and make money, all right? Uh, so uh, hopefully we can do that uh, this summer. I promise my son, we're going to do something. If these countries are still closed, we're going to Mexico, we're going to Brazil, I don't know. Whatever country is going to accept us. And of course, I want to go back to the Philippines. But uh, look, now they've announced uh, uh, that uh, they're banning uh, pretty much every country in the world because of the so-called second wave, the UK variant of uh, the bu uh, bullshit virus again. So uh, hopefully I, I want to go back, you know, but... Uh, we're just gonna have to uh, deal with it so wherever you are in the world uh just keep working on yourself uh keep working on saving money keep working on making money work on your health uh do the, do the best of what you have right now uh sooner or later these dictatorships are gonna have to give in and stop with that that bullshit that bullshit mentality of locking people, uh, of uh, locking themselves and creating their own uh, financial disaster. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, I'll go back to my exercise routine because I've, I've started uh, doing a uh, at least one hour of exercise every day now until I reach my 160 goal. Um, and I'll see you in the uh, next video tomorrow. GoPro, arrêtez vidéo.